up in my workroom. So we'll see if we can put it together. I don't anticipate any problems. Got no instructions. But as far as I can see, looking at the components, they can only go in specific places. Like there's three of those resistors and there's three 10k resistor locations and then there's one 2k resistor and we've only got one other type of resistor or value of resistor. LEDs there's two slots the long leg is the positive leg and it's marked on there positive so they'll go in that way round same on that one capacitor there C2 will be this little capacitor because we've only got one of them and the other one C1 is an electrolytic and again we can see one side of it is greyed out which should line up with the side of the capacitor that's greyed out so on the face of it it should go together uh, quite straightforward. One little question I had, I wasn't entirely sure which end of the coil is the top and which end's the bottom. Now looking in there we've got tails or the tail. That tail's quite short. That one's also quite short so there doesn't appear to be any difference as to which one's which. If we mount it that way up it's going looking down clockwise coming up. If we mount it that way up it's still going clockwise. So it doesn't appear to make any difference which way up we mount it. Probably need to put a bit of hot glue there to hold it in place. There's no mention of how you hold it in place. And then this is the single turn that goes round. It's labelled 1T there. And the question there is, does it go round that way? Or... That way. <laughs> I've no idea. So I'm going to put it round the same direction as that wire is turning, so that would be that way round. Uh, that's the only things that I could find a query with. Soldering irons heating up back here. Hopefully. Yep, yeah, that looks like that's heating up okay. Uh, so we could hold it in place with a bit of blue tack. We might need that. I looked up the voltage. It says 15 to 24 volts. So I'm going to have to see if I can find a suitable supply. And that should be it. So, we'll start off with our 10k resistors.
forgot to check the camera for focus, so I hope we're okay. I have been reading the instructions, and I do know how to lock the focus now. But I haven't done it. Let's just do them for a start. Just to get something started. Haven't done any soldering for a little while. Uh, put the fan on, blew the fumes away. Okay, so that's the resistors. Capacitor in there. And that one Put the right way round in there. LEDs. I don't know if they're different colours. I've usually got a button cell laying around that I can check them with. But then again, I've got no instructions saying which one should be which anyway, so we'll just put them in.
LEDs done. Right, these fellas. I do have some uh, white grease to put on them. Didn't come with the kit. So I might just do that if I can find it. I have to look in the drawers. And yeah, I bought it for these Peltier tiles that I was going to do a project with and haven't done yet. Had that for a long time. I don't know if this is necessary. Being as I've got it, I've seen lots of different descriptions of how to put it on. Some people just put it on and let it flatten itself, and some people put it on and carefully layer it. Either way, I'll be doing it wrong, no doubt. Somebody will tell me. So which one's which? This is the 75N75, goes on this side. I don't know if it's necessary to solder the heat sink in place. I think that's just to hold it still, isn't it? It's got no electrical purpose. And because heat sinks suck the heat away.
absolutely no idea whether I can find a suitable plug for that. Right, now for the bit. There you are. Got another LED. There definitely wasn't a space for another LED. Right, this thing has got to sit there, be soldered in place. So we probably want to warm up the hot glue gun, don't we? While I'm waiting for the hot glue gun, I'll just trim the end off here. Alright, a bit of hot glue. I've actually pushed the wire through but I haven't soldered it yet because I want a bit of flexibility. I think we've got a solder joint there. Now this fella.
may need to adjust that, but we'll just solder it as it is now. Put these legs on as well. Good job, we got some spares. face of it that should be it done. Um, I found a 19 volt supply so it's supposed to be 15 to 24 so we'll give it a try with a 19 volt supply. Hey thanks for watching there's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. My second channel Granddad's other channel is where I put the longer videos with more detail. Then there's my Facebook page and you can follow me on Twitter. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. And if you fancy some Grandad merchandise, I have two shops, one on Redbubble and the other on Cotton Car. Finally, you can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.